हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ऑनलाइन प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ डिवाइन पब्लिक स्कूल दिस इज पंकज मणि त्रिपाठी विथ मैथमेटिक्स लेट्स स्टार्ट फर्स्ट चैप्टर व्हिच इज रैशनल नंबर फर्स्ट वी विल सी ओवरव्यू ऑफ दिस चैप्टर मेन टॉपिक कवर्ड इन दिस चैप्टर इज इंक्लूड्स इंट्रोडक्शन अंडर दिस वी विल लर्न definition of rational number and its example then properties of rational number under this we will learn closure property commutative property associative property the role of zero that is that means additive identity rule of one means multiplicative identity negative of a number that is also said to be additive inverse then reciprocal that is multiplicative inverse and distributive of multiplication over addition for rational number and third and very important point is representation of rational number on number line means how to represent rational number on number line in previous class you learn how to represent integer on number line and in this class we will learn representation of rational number on number line and fourth point is find number rational numbers between two rational numbers so let us start this is definition of rational number so what is rational number in a, <coughs> a number that can be made by dividing two integers such that denominator is non zero means when uh, the a number is in the form of a upon b a number is in the form of a upon b such that b is not equal to zero means any number which is in the form of a upon b but b is can't be zero is called rational number that means koi bhi number jo a upon b ke form mein hoga but b zero ke equal nahi hoga then it is said to be rational number and example is 1 by 2 3 by 4 so here 1 by 2 1 by 2 is a rational number why because this is a ratio of two integers 1 and 2 1 and 2 are integers and this is also in the form of p a upon b And b is not equal to zero. Thus, a one upon two is a rational number. Similarly, three by four, three by four is also rational number. Why? Because three and four are integers. Now, minus one by two. Here, minus one is integer, and two is also integer. So, this is a rational number. Now, zero, zero is rational number or not? So, zero is also rational number. Why? Because zero can be written as zero can be written as zero upon one that's why and this is zero is integer and one is also integer so this is a rational number but one upon zero is not a rational number why because this here denominator is zero which is not possible for rational number okay so next point now properties of um, properties property of rational number closure property so for two rational number x and y for two rational number x and y result of addition subtraction and multiplications operations gives the rational number means kisi bhi do rational number ko add karne par ya subtract karne par ya multiply karne par unka result jo hoga wo rational number hi hoga that's why we can say rational number are closed under addition subtraction and multiplication for example 7 upon 6 plus 2 upon 5 7 upon 6 plus 2 upon 5 is equal to 47 upon 30 so here 7 upon 6 and 2 upon 5 both are rational number and 47 upon 30 is also rational number that means sum of two rational number is rational number similarly here difference of rational number is also rational number and here product of rational number is also rational number that means we can see rational numbers we can see rational numbers are closed under addition subtraction and multiplication okay next hum log iske bare mein baat kar liye ki ek closed hai addition subtraction and multiplication now do you know why division is not under closed property why क्यों डिवीजन क्लोजर प्रॉपर्टी के अंडर नहीं होता है क्यों बिकॉज 
दिस डिविजन इज दिस डिविजन इज नॉट अंडर क्लोजर प्रॉपर्टी बिकॉज डिविजन बाई जीरो इज नॉट डिफाइंड ओके दैट मीन्स वन बाई टू इज डिवाइडेड बाई जीरो इज नॉट डिफाइंड दैट्स वाई इट इज नॉट क्लोज अंडर डिविजन ओके सो वी कैन ऑल्सो से दैट एक्सेप्ट जीरो ऑल नंबर आर क्लोज अंडर डिविजन दैट मीन्स जीरो को छोड़कर जितने भी नंबर्स हैं रेशनल नंबर होंगे वो क्लोज होंगे डिविजन के अंडर में अंडरस्टैंड नेक्स्ट पॉइंट कॉम्पिटेटिव लॉ सो फॉर अ रेशनल नंबर कॉम्पिटेटिव लॉ फॉर अ रेशनल नंबर एडिशन एंड मल्टीप्लीकेशन आर कॉम्पिटेटिव मीन्स कॉम्पिटेटिव ऑफ एडिशन दैट मीन्स ए प्लस बी इज इक्वल टू बी प्लस ए दैट मीन्स किसी भी रेशनल नंबर के लिए इफ ए एंड बी आर रेशनल नंबर देन ए प्लस बी कैन बी रिटर्न एज बी प्लस ए एंड सिमिलरली ए इंटू बी इज इक्वल टू बी इंटू ए अंडरस्टैंड सो दिस होल्ड कॉम्पिटेटिव प्रॉपर्टी सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल टू अपॉन फाइव इंटू थ्री अपॉन सेवन इट कैन बी रिटर्न एज थ्री अपॉइंट सेवन इंटू टू अपॉइंट फाइव अगर यहाँ पे हम लोग दोनों का मल्टीप्लाई करें तो ये क्या होगा सिक्स अपॉइंट थर्टी फाइव के इक्वल है दैट मीन्स लेफ्ट हैंड साइड इज इक्वल टू राइट हैंड साइड बट सब्ट्रैक्शन इन द केस ऑफ सब्ट्रैक्शन इट इज नॉट इट इज नॉट कॉम्पिटेटिव फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू कैन सी वन अपॉइंट थ्री माइनस टू अपॉइंट थ्री विल बी इक्वल टू माइनस वन बाई थ्री वन बाई थ्री माइनस टू अपॉइंट थ्री इज इक्वल टू माइनस वन बाई थ्री बट टू बाई थ्री माइनस वन बाई थ्री इज इक्वल टू वन बाई थ्री सो हियर वन बाई थ्री माइनस टू बाई थ्री इज इक्वल टू माइनस वन बाई थ्री बट टू अपॉन थ्री माइनस वन बाई थ्री इज इक्वल टू वन बाई थ्री सो हियर माइनस वन बाई थ्री हियर वन बाई थ्री हियर वन माइनस वन बाई थ्री एंड हियर वन बाई थ्री बोथ आर नॉट इक्वल दैट मीन्स दिस इज अ कॉम्पिटेटिव लॉ प्रॉपर्टी डज नॉट होल्ड इन द केस ऑफ सब्ट्रैक्शन and similarly the division is also not commutative that is this you can check by any other examples now next property associative property this rational number follows rational number follows rational number follows the associative property for addition and multiplication okay so suppose x y and z are rational number then add is for addition x plus y plus z is equal to x plus y plus z similarly for multiplication x into y into z is equal to xy into z okay some very important result some very important properties that should be remembered zero is additive identity and one is multiplicative identity for rational number understand zero is additive identity why because when zero is added to any number then its value is unchanged so that's why zero is said to be additive identity similarly when you multiply any number by 1 then that's value is unchanged that's why one is said to be multiplicative identity of for rational number next for the rational number xy the additive inverse is minus x upon y okay try to understand this is very important for a rational number x upon y the additive inverse is minus x upon y that means koi agar rational number x upon y hai to iska additive inverse kya hoga minus x upon y understand for example take another example what is the additive inverse of minus 1 by 2 so additive inverse of minus 1 by 2 will be equal to 1 by 2 okay next and multiplicative uh, multiplicative inverse of x upon y is equal to y upon x okay so multiplicative inverse of x upon y is equal to y upon x understand next distributive property so distributive property states that multiplying distributive property states that multiplying a sum of variable by a numbers Multiplying the sum of variables by a number equal to same result as multiplying each variable by the number, and then adding the products together. Try to understand with the help of an example. 
so take uh, try to uh, that is a into that is a into b if you writing a into b plus c so this will be equal to a into b plus a into b plus a into c okay so that means a number is multiplying to sum of two numbers will be equal to product of that number with both number and then sum of that okay next next start exercise first so exercise uh, first 1.1 question number 1 is given using the appropriate properties find find this value okay it is given how to solve uh, using the appropriate property find the value of that okay so first point how to do so you can do directly also but it is given using the appropriate property that means humko property ko use karke hi karna hai directly humko multiply ya add board mass ko use nahi karna hai yahan pe okay so hum yahan pe property jo bhi appropriate property hogi usko use karke fir hum log solve karenge okay so let us start so here given minus 2 upon 3 into here given minus 2 upon 3 and 3 upon 5 again in third term 3 upon 5 is given so 3 upon 5 here also and here also 3 upon 5 here and here it is given so we'll shift this term third term and first term so we'll shift first term a uh, third term at the place of second term and second term at the place place of first term so we'll ch transfer second term at the place of third term and third term at the place of second term so this will be like right like this that means minus 2 upon 3 into 3 upon 5 minus 3 upon 5 this is second term this is transferred here so this will be 2 upon minus 2 upon 3 into 3 by 5 minus minus <coughs> minus 3 upon minus 3 upon 5 into 1 by 6 plus 5 by 2 if, by which property We're using commutative of rational number because you know in commutative property a plus b is equal to b plus a you can write that's why i shift this number at the place of this okay we shift this using by this understand and now look in this two two terms in both term 3 by 5 is common so take out common that minus 3 by 5 so minus 3 by 5 is common and then it will be 2 upon 3 plus 1 by 6 okay this minus 3 upon 5 is common then 2 upon 3 plus 1 by 6 and then plus 5 by 2 by distributive property and therefore now sum this sum of this will be equal to this and then plus 5 by 2 understand solve this this will becomes 5 by 6 this will becomes 5 by 6 okay then 3 by 5 minus 3 by 5 into 5 by 6 will be equal to this term and then finally answer will be 6 12 by 6 that will be equal to 2 understand so by using commutative property here this term हम लोग क्या किया है commutative property use किया है third term को second term से shift किया है और second term को third term के जगह पे किया है ठीक है इसको हम लोग यहाँ पे commutative property use किया और उसके बाद हम लोग क्या किया है यहाँ हम लोग देख रहे हैं three by five common है दोनों term में तो इससे हम लोग क्या किए minus three by five को common ले लिए then it will becomes two by three plus one by six okay so here by applying distributive property and after solving this term, this term को हम लोग solve किए हैं, तो यहाँ से next term मिला हमको, and then 2 to the 4 plus 1, 5 by 6, okay, multiply this, this will be this, and then finally you get answer, okay, so done, similarly you can do second part of question number 1, that is for, uh, that is homework for you, okay, and second question is given, write the additive inverse of the, each of the following, it is given additive inverse. So you know what is additive inverse? So x upon y is a number. Hai. 
एक्स अपॉन वाई अगर कोई नंबर है तो एडिटिव यूनिवर्स क्या होता है माइनस एक्स अपॉन वाई होता है अंडरस्टैंड सो एडिटिव यूनिवर्स ऑफ टू अपॉन एट विल बी इक्वल टू माइनस टू अपॉन एट सिमिलरली यू कैन डू सो टू अपॉन एट एडिटिव यूनिवर्स ऑफ टू अपॉन एट विल बी इक्वल टू माइनस टू अपॉन एट सिमिलरली यू कैन डू रिमेनिंग पार्ट्स सो टूडे होमवर्क इज कंप्लीट क्वेश्चन नंबर वन एंड क्वेश्चन नंबर टू ओके थैंक यू